Hello everyone, it's your certified meme lord Steve here. So you may have watched my loot box opening video that I released last week, and if you have, you've already seen how to waste an enormous amount of money in War Thunder. And if you haven't, I'll leave a link in the corner of the screen in one of those cards so you can go and check it out. But after making that video, and seeing dozens of people talking about how much they'd spent and even wasted on boxes and seeing people talking about pre-ordering premiums and all sorts of other stuff on the Reddit and on my own Discord, I decided to make a video on how to wisely spend money in War Thunder. So in this video we'll be discussing three main topics. Number one being premium vehicles, number two being premium time, Number three will be Golden Eagle RP boosting versus buying a talisman, and I'll also lump in a couple other small topics along with those. But we'll start with premium. So as I'm sure you are well aware by this point, Gaijin monetizes War Thunder largely through selling premium vehicles. These vehicles provide increased research and Silver Lion earning over the Tech Tree vehicles of the same BR, and can be a really, really good investment to help you grind most of them also have reduced repair costs, so it helps you earn Silver Lions in-game compared to the Tech Tree counterparts. But not all of them are created equal, and some are even pretty garbage. For sake of time, I'm not going to go into a detailed explanation of each premium. If you want me to do something like that, let me know in the comments, and I'd be happy to uh, maybe do a kind of overlook of a lot of the premiums in-game, or any specific ones that you're asking. But for the sake of time, I'll be giving a guidelines, or my guidelines, of what you should look for when you're getting a premium. So if you're starting a new account, maybe you just downloaded the game, or you're starting a new tech tree, you're moving into one of the new ones they've added, my recommendation is to buy a rank 3 premium. In my experience, a rank 3 of around 4.0 to 5.0 for a battle rating is a really, really good investment because they're far cheaper than their higher tiered counterparts. Not to mention, that is a very, very good BR range to earn Silver Lions, even with Tech Tree vehicles, and it won't take you very long to grind to rank 3, or to 4.0 or 5.0, depending on which one you buy, such as the KV-1B or the American Cobra King. They're very easy to build a lineup for, and it will help you in the long run, because you can grind even up to rank 4 with those. But be careful if you want to buy something of like rank 1 or 2, because those vehicles will very quickly not help you grind anymore once you reach past rank 3 since uh, premium vehicles research everything below them so let's say you buy a top tier premium it can research everything below it plus 1 BR so if it's a rank 3 it can research rank 1, 2, 3 and then it can also research rank 4 but if you try to research 5, 6, or 7 which is coming in the next update it will reduce the reward that you earn. The other topic I'd like to quickly discuss with this would be pre-ordering premiums. My opinion on that is do not do it because you never know what the vehicle is going to be like when it actually hits the live server and it's a lot of money to put at stake. You're probably going to be alright with it but you never know what might happen with that premium so I'd say just steer clear and just wait until it's released. Alright, so on to the next topic, that being premium time. I personally run a premium account because I need it to help me grind for videos, but sometimes buying premium time really isn't your best option. Like, if you're just starting out, I would not recommend buying premium time. I'd recommend buying a premium tank using what I just told you, because premium time runs out. And once it's gone, you, you don't have any reward from it. But if you get a premium tank, you'll get reduced rewards if you don't have premium time with that premium tank, but you still keep that increased earning so you can still grind more efficiently, making them a much better long-term investment. And I would, if you do really want to buy premium time, I would really recommend you wait for sales because when it's on sale, you can pick up a lot more premium time for a much, much better price. Or even if you want to get it before a sale, buy a pack because you can get a premium vehicle, Golden Eagles, and premium time, which to me is a much better deal than just buying premium time outright. Alright, so let's go ahead and discuss the last, or I'd say the third of the most common ways that people will spend their money in War Thunder, 
and that be will be RP boosting and talismaning. So War Thunder allows you to earn what's called convertible XP during battles. I'm sure you've seen it. it's that little uh, light bulb icon that's up in your top that you probably have like a couple hundred thousand RP. I think I have something like 25 million. But basically you have to spend golden eagles or real money to convert that and you can use it for any vehicle in the game. Now that might sound like a good idea but to me I recommend that you don't because when you do that there's no long-term benefit to it. Sure you might be able to boost your way to that vehicle you've really been looking forward to but it doesn't increase the reward or anything of that vehicle so you're basically just throwing money into the wind. Now there are certain circumstances where I can understand it maybe you want to like get your parts or FPE or something or maybe you want to get a certain modification early that's entirely up to you I just recommend rather than doing that you just invest in premium time or a premium vehicle because to me those are the two better ways now on to talismans a talisman is you may have seen it in your modifications menu it's that little weird symbol thing at the top that costs golden eagles and it increases your reward of RP for that vehicle in particular by 100%. However, this is a common misconception. It does not increase your Silver Lion potential. So it is not like making it a premium vehicle. You just earn increased RP. But this can be a really good investment if you really, really love a certain vehicle. Like, I absolutely adore the Panther 2, especially back when it was 6-7 the first time. So that's, that's why I talisman mine, and I used it to grind top tier Germany back then. But you have to also remember that a talisman only increases reward of a plus one minus one, because that's what a tech tree vehicle earns. It's not like a premium where it researches everything below it and then one above. It's only plus one minus one. So if you want to get the best bang for your buck, make sure to get either like a rank five talisman I guess a rank 6 now that rank 7 is coming, but I would recommend around like a rank 4 or a rank 5 because there's a lot of vehicles around that area. Rank 4 would be my, my go-to, I would say, because there's a lot of vehicles in that range that you'll get increased earning for, so it makes your money go a lot further. There's also the option to buy Silver Lions. I really wouldn't recommend that because instead of just throwing your money into gold or silver lions you can just do either of the thing any of the things that I just said really or you can just improve how you're grinding because a lot of people will try to play top tier or other BRs that aren't really good for grinding out silver lions the best that I've found is to either play air RB at, at around a mid rank or playing mid rank premium tanks do not grind past 6-7 for Silver Lions currently. It might change in the future with them releasing the new uh, economy and everything, but I, I wouldn't bet on it. So just try to stick around that 4-0-5-0 range, maybe even up to 5-7 depending on the time of day that you're playing. Those are usually pretty good to earn Silver Lions. I, I'll probably make a video on this more in depth in the future, but just for now, keep that in mind. To sum up this entire video, Remember to spend your money on something that will last. So that means premium vehicles are probably going to be the best bang for your buck along with premium time if you don't want any premium vehicles for some reason. But uh, that's my advice for how to spend your money wisely in War Thunder. If you think I missed something, let me know in the comments. Consider subscribing if you haven't already if you enjoyed this video. Either like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and I'll catch you in the next video.